Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Tuesday, August 30th, 2016. Today starts off with yet another one of my sources, Polygon, confirming for themselves the images and video of the PS4 Slim are real. A video stars Laura Kay, a well-known video games journalist, unboxing the new console. An interesting note, she comments the box does not say PS4 Slim on it anywhere, and this may imply the new model will completely replace this old one. World of Warcraft Legion is out today, and in less than six hours, the game had its first level 110. Twitch streamer Fragnance did the whole thing Thing on his channel and then proceeded to start leveling another character. That's what I both miss and hated about WoW. Also going out today are invites for the open beta for Battlefield 1, and it should be noted that while it does not require a PS Plus subscription to take place, it does require Xbox Live Gold membership. Anyone else think that that's bullshit? Let me know in the comment section down below. Another game has been pulled down from the Steam storefront after just three days. In case of emergency, release Raptor saw many delays and very poor sales, so the development team discontinued sale and are going to release it for free. Discovered in Elite Dangerous is the remains of an alien ship and not much is really known about it other than it comes from the same enemy alien race seen in previous titles. In some Pokemon Go news, it's confirmed that Niantic is letting go of some bans that were issued a few weeks ago. People who use third-party apps to track Pokemon have a pretty good chance of getting their account restored, but people who use bots have no chance at all. And a school in France is asking for rare Pokemon to be banned. That's just rare Pokemon, mind you. Pidgeys and Magikarp are fine. Electabuzz and Dratini are not. Yeah, that sounds dumb as hell. GOG has launched yet another DRM-free platform, this one a new payment method in the form of a wallet which you can deposit money to and buy games at your leisure. A new survival game is coming from 11-Bit Studios, the makers of This War of Mine. It's called Frostpunk and takes place in a hostile frozen tundra. The next Nintendo Direct is coming on Thursday and will have a focus on the 3DS, its games, and they're not going to be talking about the NX at all. More hacks have taken place on popular gaming forums, with a total of over 9 million accounts affected. If you attend any of the forums listed on your screen, please go change your password right now. I will wait. No, I won't. Just pause it. Released to Steam yesterday was a bunch of games from Sierra, and for the average price of 6 bucks, you can rel relive all of the nostalgia you want. Towerfall is coming to Xbox One sometime soon and has official support for up to 8 players now. Gran Turismo Sport has been delayed until sometime in 2017, being pushed back from its release date of November 15th. PlayStation Now is now available in the US, and it's coming to the UK tomorrow. You can subscribe to the service for $20 a month or $100 for the year to stream games from your PS4 to your PC. Leaving early access next month on September 20th is H1Z1, or H1Z1, depending on where you live. Beware, the game will increase by $10 in price once it fully releases. Coming out of early access today is Master of Orion, a 4X strategy game. This Friday, a live stream will take place for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on Twitch TV. So go there to see if you want it or you still think it's a pile of crap. I don't care. A demo for ukulele will be playable for the general public at EGX this year, and I cannot wait to play that one. Off-World Trading Company has new DLC available, which grants the ability to start a space colony on an asteroid. It costs five bucks or your regional equivalent. Y2K is a game described as a JRPG for hipsters, and a demo is releasing that won't be part of the actual game. Instead, for free, you get a complete mini-quest to get an overall feel for how the rest of the game will be. Coming to Xbox One and PS4 is Wreckfest, and pre-ordering it will get you access to the beta. Don't pre-order it, that's a horrible, horrible bonus. Blood Soaked Butcher is a 2D shooter with tons of stuff going on all at once, and if you like a bloodbath, then this is the game for you. Last, and certainly least, Konami has revealed the Metal Gear Solid 5 Definitive Edition will release on October 11th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and will cost $49.99 US dollars, or your regional equivalent. I'm interested in knowing what games you're playing. Let me know in the comment section down below. Not as many as yesterday. Time for tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Mind's Eye, Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire, Windscape, Hack Slash and Backstab, Battle Knights, Magneta, Don't Crawl, Day of the Trumplings, Second Coming, 
the Warlock of Firetop Mountain, and stay close. For PlayStation 4, Nebulous. For Xbox One, Killer Instinct Season 3, Hack, Slash, and Backstab, and I, Zombie. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And what's the difference between the Green Lantern and a Unicorn? Nothing. They're completely imaginary characters.